dinosaur discoveries. From all over the world, a whole new generation of dinosaurs has been revealed. From the biggest giants and the deadliest killers to the weird and wonderful. From the Arctic to Africa, from South America to Asia. With the most extraordinary fossils, from dinosaur embryos to the exquisitely preserved, and using the latest imaging technology, cutting edge research has allowed us to probe deeper and reveal more than ever before. It gives us our first truly global view of these incredible animals. In this episode, we look at the new, bizarre and extraordinary feathered dinosaurs, many of which have only just been discovered. Some conquered new worlds, others grew to gigantic sizes. As we learn more about the evolution of these feathered beasts, they're revolutionizing our understanding of life on Earth, blurring the boundaries between dinosaurs and birds. For over a century, the great dinosaur discoveries came from North America and Europe. But in the last decade or so, the focus shifted. One country now sits at the center of the new dinosaur revolution. China. In recent years, spectacular fossils have been uncovered here. Amazingly preserved, these fossils revealed exquisite new details. And they're giving us incredible glimpses into an alien world, a world full of the most bizarre dinosaurs we've ever seen. Possibly the strangest of all lived 154 million years ago in the late Jurassic period. looks like nothing else on earth. Hiding in these lush forests is Epidexipteryx. The size of a pigeon, everything about this creature is odd, from the length of its arms to the shape of its teeth. This is Synraptor. A small dinosaur like Epidexipteryx would be of no interest to a seven meter adult. But this is a juvenile. An Epidexipteryx is a perfect size snack. like Synraptor. On the ground, a few feathers offer no protection. The first feathered dinosaur was discovered in 1996, but lots more would quickly follow. It suddenly appeared as if many dinosaur species actually had feathers, and confirmed what had long been suspected. 
a direct link between dinosaurs and birds. A link that can be found in the dinosaurs that lived here in the Mongolian desert 85 million years ago. This is Saronothoides. It's a member of the Trudong family, and we have discovered actual fossils of these dinosaurs sitting on a nest. It takes days to lay a full clutch of eggs, and until that's complete, this animal won't begin its brooding behavior and start sitting on the nest. With the Soronithoides off foraging, this unguarded nest provides an invitation for predators. This is an Ovaraptorid, a bizarre looking theropod dinosaur. With no teeth, they were mostly plant eaters. But that doesn't mean it won't take advantage of a different kind of lunch. We know Ovaraptorids were mostly plant eaters because of some amazing evidence we have found. One fossil in particular was incredibly well preserved. Inside its body were small stones, gastroliths. Just like a bird, it had swallowed these to help digest tough plants. But when the remains of two unrelated embryos were discovered in an Ovaraptorid nest, it suggested that some were not just plant eaters, but may have been nest raiders as well. It means that a nesting animal like Saronithoides can never turn its attention away for long. But two lost eggs are the least of its problems. Here, some nest raiders are bigger than others. Across the world, discovery after discovery has revealed more and more features. From nesting to feathers that were once thought of as exclusively bird-like, but have now also been found in dinosaurs. But the ultimate discovery is perhaps that of a dinosaur that lived in northeast China around 120 million years ago. This remote area has revealed spectacular fossils in exquisite detail, unearthing an astonishing diversity of animals, many of which are well adapted to living in trees. One particular dinosaur discovery takes this to a whole new level. Sine Ornithosaurus was one of the first feathered dinosaurs found. The fossils are so perfectly preserved, they have helped us solve one of the great dinosaur mysteries. For years, the color of dinosaurs was thought impossible to work out. In 2010, it was discovered that the feathers on this fossil weren't just impressions. Under the microscope, tiny structures were revealed identical to those found in modern birds. Structures that contain the pigment. Remarkably, by comparing them to living birds, we can even work out the true colors. The feathers appear to be a combination of reddish browns, yellows, greys and blacks, perfectly suited to forest life. Another dinosaur living in this forest, J. Holosaurus, a small plant eater. 
Recent fossils indicate that this type of dinosaur looks after and protects its young. With feathers that allow it to blend in with the forest, Cynornithosaurus can move unseen through the treetops. And Cynornithosaurus is a hunter with a potent secret weapon. In 2011, a study of the eyes of this creature revealed that it was a predator perfectly capable of hunting equally during day and night. And a study of its teeth in 2009 showed something that definitely sets it apart from birds, something far more deadly. The greatest danger is not simply being outnumbered. We have found that Cynornithosaurus teeth have unusual and distinctive grooves along their length. They resemble those of the venomous Gila monster, the grooves of its teeth used to deliver venom into its victim. The team even identified what they thought was the location of the venom sac in the fossil. It appeared Cynornithosaurus could kill with poison. This is a far more deadly predator than anyone ever imagined and completes an extraordinary picture of a bizarre lost world. All of these discoveries reveal the importance of feathers to a whole host of dinosaurs, from insulation to defense and finally flight. And Microraptor not only hints at how flight developed, but also that dinosaurs still live amongst us today as birds. Yeah.